I wanted to mess around with some explosives today. <laughs> so, what does it take? What does it take to make explosives? First, in our crafting list, you have to learn the feat. Uh, we need an earthenware jug, some tar, and some dragon powder. Now, the dragon powder, I have made one already. You can see it over there on the left. Let's go info. Alchemists in the West first discovered this wondrous powder through a crumbling manuscript that came with a caravan from Kitai. Through much experimentation and loss of limb and life, they eventually stabilized the formula with localized ingredients. Combined with other ingredients, dragon powder becomes a potent explosive, though many see it as a form of sorcery and refuse to use it in battle. Ay ay ay. <laughs> so we need to make more of that. Uh, we've got enough ingredients. I've thrown the ingredients here. You can see to make dragon powder, once you've learned how to make it, uh, two demon fire, ten brimstone, fifty crystal, and one hundred still fire. We've got that loaded up in the f uh, firebolt cauldron. So let's make that. This bark is only going to last thirty more seconds. And then we'll use that coal. Is it... Hold up. What happened? Why did the... Ah, oh, when that fuel ran out, did it clear out of the queue? That's dumb. So we'll use the coal, I guess. Anyway, while that goes, what else do we need? We need the uh, earthenware jug. So over here on the artisan's work table, once you learn the feat for all the pottery, you can make all these ceramics. Here's the earth earthenware jug. Requires 50 stone. Let's make two of those. Those go pretty quick. That's nice. Two earthenware jugs. Ah, ah, ah. Oh shoot. And do we have tar? I need more tar as well. There's that dragon powder. Okay, dragon powder is made. Earthenware jugs are made. And is that all we need now is tar for the explosives? Yeah, five tar. So we're gonna have to go kill something and skin it real fast. Okay, now that we have enough tar, we go to inventory. We make explosive jar. How long does that take? Not too long. And there it is. Explosive jar made. Now, I also wanted to make uh, one of these exploding traps. And that requires... The exploding trap requires 20 iron bars, 20 branches, an exploding, an explosive jar, and 20 brimstone. I've got all that on me, so let's craft that up. Info on the trap. Originally created for Kitai uh, for use in fireworks, enterprising warriors and merchants soon saw the value of using the explosive powder in warfare. One enterprising Namedian merchant thought that surrounding his mansion with a ring of explosive jars buried in the earth, their lids rigged with a special trigger, would deter would-be thieves from stealing over his walls. When his favorite hunting hound triggered the trap and knocked down half the wall around his mansion, the merchant sold the details of the trigger mechanism to a blacksmith and left the estate behind. Nice story. There we go. Now we can make one more exploding jar. Explosive jar. So we'll have a jar and a trap. Okay, so there's the explosive jar, there's the explosive trap. And grease orbs. Now Grammy, since you're here, unfortunately, you happen to be a neighbor of this base that I'm at. And I just, I gotta try out some explosives right now, so... Let's go attack one of the Geknib Gang bases. <laughs> I gotta see what these explosive jars can do, I'm so curious. Where should we put this exploding jar? Let's put it... I want to put it under here, I think. But wait, that dancer was there. Do I care? No. I don't care if there's a dancer. Okay, exploding jar. How do we use this thing? Let's put it right... There. And more options. Dismantle, interact, cancel, return to inventory. Let's interact. Okay, get out of there. Journey step completed. Use an explosive. Oh! That was harsh. Oh no. Oh, my grease! There we go. I brought some grease orbs to feed the fire, too. Oh, the destruction. That might be all that it's gonna do. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay, we broke into the top floor. That's cool. So this wasn't the best uh, entry point. But you can see the explosion from the jar. It got that wall, it got that wall, it got that ceiling. I'm sure it would have gotten this wall if it was there. It does what? About a square's worth of damage? 
Or at least the fire did after the explosion. The initial explosion might have damaged some more of this stuff. I don't know for sure how big that explosion goes, but it hurt me from a distance. From a distance away, so... Must be significant, right? Okay, we've got this explosive trap, though. I need to do something with that. We gotta lure someone into a trap. Lure someone into an exploding trap? Should I just do it to this guy? Let's do it. Oh. Overlapping another object or terrain. There. Place it. Oh, I didn't place. You think it's because I'm in battle, Nimrod? That would be dumb. Alright, let's try over this way. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, yeah. So it probably is because I was in battle. We've placed the trap. Let's see if we can lure somebody. Okay, here we go. Will they do it? Will they do it? Nope. Ah! They both ran right past it. Um, hey, Branch Core, what's this thing in the ground over here? You should come walk onto it. <laughs> Come here, lady. Do you have to arm them or something? Options. Dismantle. Interact. Can't return it to inventory. Let's interact with it. Now maybe it's set? Alright, lady. Follow me. I don't know how close to get to that thing. Oh, lady. Oh, lady. Oh. Well... Oh, kaboom! It worked! <laughs> Lure an enemy into a trap complete. Nice. I felt the damage all the way over there by that tree. Yeah, it hit me too. Pretty hard from where I was over here. That's a nice boom. Well, there you go. A couple of chapter objectives. Uh, those were six? Yeah, use an explosive and lure an enemy into a trap. Uh, the explosive objectives of chapter six. Done. I love it. But yeah, I noticed that delay. It worked out, though. Uh, Johnny Crash, yes, the explosions will damage buildings from those as well. So you gotta set the trap first. That makes sense, you know? Makes total sense.